Hi, Mark Looney, Analog Devices, Application Engineering Manager for the Inertial MEMS Sensor Technology Group. We're here at Electronica in Munich to demonstrate our dynamic tilt sensing demonstration today. The purpose of our demo is to explore a really key problem a lot of air mobility, precision agriculture, a variety of autonomous vehicles have to deal with, and that's accurate attitude sensing in the difficult environmental conditions. A lot of these applications have highly complex and dynamic motion profiles, and so th things such as cross-axis sensitivity and gyroscopes, uh, vibration rejection and gyroscopes are often quite impacting of system level objectives. For those that are designing high performance uh, guidance navigation and stabilization systems in these types of uh, end applications, they have a couple of different problems. First of all, core sensor behaviors are a key part of any product development or system level development that starts with inertial sensing. Then on top of that, the system level integration which starts with uh, full calibration and stable mechanical support for the sensors. All of these aspects lead into uh, the ability to develop accurate attitude sensing in these types of applications. Analog Devices has developed an entire product family of MEMS-based inertial measurement units which combine triaxial gyroscopes with triaxial accelerometers, such as the ADIS-16507. These products at the core sensor level are designed uh, to be robust against environmental conditions such as linear vibration in the gyroscopes. As a, as a whole product, they're calibrated in a triaxial inertial environment over temperature to address all of the observable errors at time zero in an application space. And for those errors that are not observable at time zero, Analog Devices has done a, a job of characterizing and specifying these devices in a conservative manner so that customers have a good understanding of what to expect, not only at time zero, but at the end of the life of their application. The bottom line is that when our customers have the opportunity to start off with sensors that are inherently designed to be more robust in linear vibration environments and other challenging conditions, well, fully calibrated and also very well specified, they have an opportunity to understand what to expect much sooner in their design development cycles and an opportunity to get their solutions to their market much quicker when starting with these types of solutions. For more information, check us out at analog.com sensors.